Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, we were exploring the area of Moonwood, where we were encountering a large amount of ogres and giants, who apparently have been attacking dragons in the nearby vicinity, in the spine of the world. It's time to go into these caves, however. Also, did you notice in that picture there that was a uh, skeleton that was just sat on a rock? Just like going, hey, how's it going? I'm a skeleton. Nice to meet you. So, what is in here? That is a question. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I will loot what is here. That is a cloud of something. There is a dragon here. Green dragons are belligerent and prone to attacking without provocation. They make their lairs in old-grown forests where they fly beneath the canopy. It's another dragon! I really didn't want to meet a dragon this early. However, I suppose we'll talk to it. If we can survive the cloud of death. Is there anything else we can loot while we're here? Uh, possibly not door to eggs. Why do I get the feeling I don't especially want to go over there if I value... Ow! If I value, um, not angering the dragon. Because angering the dragon is not something I really want to do right now. Well, the good news is, is that the, uh, cloud of acid, which I imagine that was, that it had bellowed out, uh, is gone. Which is good. Let's go and talk to this dragon. I'm a little worried about talking to this dragon, but here we go. Why have you come? Beauty. One. For what reason have you sought out the cave of one greater than yourself? Why do you disturb the magnificent Akulatrasis? Well, we come for the words of power, I guess. My name is Sarkin Smith. I am searching for the words of power. I have never heard of these words of power, and I have lived in these mountains all my life. I will continue to live here for many more, for that matter, despite the efforts of the hill giants to dislodge me. What was that you said about hill giants? Your manner is brusque, Harfork male. You should show more respect when addressing dragons. Others of my kind may not be as tolerant of your lack of etiquette, but I will answer your question. Are your wounds actually closing right before my eyes? Uh, yes, yes, I can regenerate injuries. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. The hill giants were trying to steal my eggs. The lairs of many of my kind have come under attack. Too many eggs have all been slain. Dragons have been slain and their eggs taken. Oh. Suppose uh, they have a reason for it. But the hill giants are like all lesser creatures. They are no match for a dragon of my power, even in great numbers. The raiders shall not steal my eggs, I vow this. Hmm. Please, mighty Akulatraxus, I seek your wisdom in answering these questions I have. You speak with the respect to a dragon. This is good, half -orc. Conversation is far more pleasant than the slaughter I was forced to unleash upon the hill giant who attacked my lair. Now, what would you ask of me? I think we're going to use a bit of flattery here. You are truly a spectacular being. Are there more dragons in the area that I might gaze upon the glory of your species further? There are other dragons in the area, though none so magnificent as I. Gorgotha makes her lair to the north in the spine of the world, though I know little of her. Gold dragons are not fond of my particular breed. A great brass named uh, Skilandara also lairs in the spine of the world. Another I try to avoid, for she is jealous of me. Most of the others have fled driven off by the same hill giants who dared to attack me here in my lair. Hmm. 
Great Akula Traxus, why would the Hill Giants be foolish enough to challenge your might? <laughs> oh, we've already done that, uh, yeah. There's not much else we really want to say to you right now. If you have business elsewhere, you may attend to it. Akula Traxus gives you permission to go, tiny creature. Well, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, we're not gonna go and get your eggs or anything like that right now. We are just going to go and see, uh, some of the other caves and, uh, check out what's going on nearby, because I don't want to go and fight a really old, uh, green dragon. That seems like a silly idea that will end up resulting in my horrendous death. Because unlike the, uh, white dragon we fought in the snow globe, we don't have an amulet of protect from massive amounts of acid damage. Which is what we would need if we were going to, uh, I believe is what we'd need if we were going to fight a... No, green dragons... Hmm... Trying to remember... Trying to remember, a green dragon's acid, I... They might be... Because each one has certain breaths. Some of them have multiple breaths, so, uh... So let's, uh, let's think about this. So... It's obvious which one the, uh, red dragon is, because the red dragon is, uh... The red dragon is, uh, fire. Oh, no, no, it's poison! It's poison! Green dragons, it's poison. It's a really odd one. The green dragons just just bellow out poison. That's nasty. That is a very nasty uh, breath weapon. We have another cave here that we can go and examine. Maybe it'll have another dragon in it. It might. It might have a dead dragon in it. It does sort of look not very hospitable, but then neither did... Oh, hill giant lair. Well... We're here now. We're certainly here. There are a lot of hill giants here. Oh wow, there are a lot of hill giants. Uh, I think it's time to summon one of the... Uh... Yep, that'll do. There are four! You're there in. are five, six <laughs> hill giants here. Oh wow. That is a lot of hill giants. Fortunately, we can withstand all of the rocks, and every hill giant we kill is one less that will throw rocks at us, but ouch! There's a lot of enemies. Also, they are worth only 12 rocks. We can deal with hill giants, though. If we can deal with hill giants, we can certainly deal with Etins. Etins are not as dangerous by any stretch of the imagination. Crumpy can quite capably handle the Etins. And we could, uh, probably help with the hill giant. There we go! Victory! That was a lot of hill giants. That was dangerous. You want to start unlocking things? That'll be good. Want to make sure that we don't, uh, have Crumpet destroy any loot? Done. Fair enough. Anything else to unlock? There's that one over there you can unlock. 200 gold! Not bad. Not bad. Anything else? Fair enough. There is. There appear to be lots of locks. Oh, this is for the uh, that door over there. Oh, fair enough. Clearly, nothing else is uh, currently locked. That no longer is either. Uh, could you come back? Fair enough. Yeah, I really don't want you to walk headfirst into another room full of peril and death. Mainly because that room is probably full of peril and death, Sharwin, and we are not fully prepared to handle that much peril and or death. I suppose if we kill all the hill giants, we might get a reward from the dragon. The dragon clearly has no idea, the green one anyway here, has no idea of the uh, words of power, or is lying. I mean, I, I imagine it could be lying. So you just ran into a room full of three hill giants. I'm surprised none of them tried to attack you. I'm really surprised none of them tried to attack you. Maybe they just didn't notice that the henchman is there without the uh, player character. That would be interesting. I, I'm not sure which is actually the case. You might as well just start unlocking things, to be honest. Uh, are neither of these unlocked? Fair enough. They're obviously not. Because you didn't go to actually unlock them, you went to go round the corner to unlock this one. Which admittedly we can unlock. 
it's already unlocked, so uh, we don't actually need to unlock it at all. There are enemies in here. Not surprisingly, more hill giants. There are a lot of hill giants here. The rocks are not half as dangerous as you'd think they would be. For a sort of low to mid-level party, the hill giants are really nasty. Like you suddenly get rocks bombarded at you from a very long range, and they really do hurt. There are in fact nastier giants. There are certain giants that actually have the ability to cast spells. And some of them most certainly do uh, go into uh, PC classes, like uh, Cleric. Some of them go Sorcerer. A fair few of them go Fighter. Eh, not much in there of any uh, particular worth. Sorry. Nothing else to unlock. Fair enough. You'll have to just take it nice and slowly, step by step. Ooh, armor. Scale mail. Hmm. Scale mail, otherwise just basically a worse chain shirt. Like, it really is just a worse chain shirt. Enemies. Hello? A patrolling Etin. You interrupted our rest. Didn't actually know that that could happen. Just so happy, just suddenly then realizes that it's under attack and uh, is about to die. I actually don't need my companions for this one. I'm pretty sure I can handle the Etin. Yep, Etin dead. I'm so sad that it's dead. It's going, oh, I've perished. And then it perished. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. There's a big area over here that I imagine might be full of giants. Or it could surprise me and suddenly mind flayers. Oh, I really don't want it to be suddenly mind flayers. Suddenly mind flayers is possibly one of the worst things you can hear when you're actually playing a D&D uh, &D game. Your DM just turns to you and goes, suddenly mind flayers! And... It all goes very wrong after that. Very wrong indeed. Well, let's move on down this corridor. I'm sure there's nothing terrible down here. There's probably giants. But there's most likely giants. In fact, this door here probably has giants. There's certainly giants there. I kind of need the rest of my party. There they are. And Crumpet has already decided to pick a fight with the giants. There are probably giants in there, too. But we'll just kill all these giants. Where are they getting these rocks from? They're just magicking up rocks? Ha! That's a pretty nice ability if you can just magic up rocks by waving your hands. Big rocks, too! I mean, have you ever thought of not throwing them and instead just using them for, like, a sort of masonry industry? You could just conjure up rocks and then use the rocks. To... Oh, hello, ogres! An area just full of ogres. This leads deeper into the caves. I get the feeling we're doing this out of order. I get the feeling we should be getting quests to deal with these ogres, and then going to, uh, to get all of the, um, to get something, a reason to go there. Because right now this green dragon's told us they're raiding. They admittedly are raiding all dragons. I wonder why they're raiding all of the dragons. The uh, ogres, as you can see there, not the most terrifying of a... Well, you found someone to fight. Uh, a dire bear! Just out of nowhere. Two dire bears, actually. There were ogres in here. We can deal with dire bears. We don't need to use the animal empathy here. They probably won't even work anyway. Doesn't seem to work most of the time. We just animal empathy and then one of our animal companions decides he wants to kill it anyway. Are there enemies in there? We could go in there first and just clear out the enemies here. That seems like a good idea. I mean, there are what, three hill giants? We'll get these first and then we'll move on to the uh, area deeper in the caves. It'll be worth it. Also, this is a fair amount of experience. We're probably getting him along. I mean, uh, we need uh, just shy of uh, 7,000 experience now to get to uh, the next level. The next level is important. We do want to ideally get there before we finish this chapter. We're getting... Uh, oh, that's uh, one of Sharwin's spells. Thought for a moment there someone was attacking us with spells, but uh, but no. Is that unlockable? 
It is! I do like that command. That command is pretty good. If I'd have known about it the first time I'd played through the game, it would have made things a lot easier. But then again, I didn't usually play a druid, so... Uh, the option to uh, have an animal companion attack, it tended not to happen. I like druids in this game. If I was actually playing a druid with the proper rules, where they couldn't just wear plain mail, it would be a lot more difficult. Seriously restricts the amount of armor you can wear until you get things like dragon scale armor or um, ironwood. Ironwood's pretty good. It's also pretty expensive, too. Any other... Oh! Hello, hill giant champion! Oh, wow, you're apparently quite tough. Um... Yes, you're tough! Ow! Ow! You're really tough! I'm gonna go over here and cast, um, a spell. I'm going to cast, uh, the Greater Irons, the Greater Stone Skin spell here. That's an important spell to have. Oh, uh, I also need to cast, uh, this. If we surround it, we might stand a chance. Oh, ow, this thing hurts. As you can see here, wow. Just obliterates, doesn't it? Look at how much it just obliterates with physical attacks alone. Huge amount of damage. Fortunately, my uh, stone skin is working to great effect here. Also, we might as well summon Crumpet back. And also cast Awaken on him, I believe. Oh, and immediately he is under attack. It's alright, we got him. 275 experience for that fight. And no loot. Hopefully the loot is, uh, in this chest here. That's definitely got us, uh, a fair way towards being closer to level, uh, what level? 15? 15 is a good level, because 15 gets us, um, 15 gets us 8th level enough. spells. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Ow! <laughs> probably away from that. That's probably where you were going. Away from that. We want to head further down, though. We definitely want to head further down. We haven't been given a quest to deal with the hill giants, but they sound like they're, uh... Well, actually, we were. We were sort of given a quest by the, um... The tribe of, uh, Uthgard here. Forgot about that. But they're sort of defending against them too, so we might as well deal with the hill giants. The side effect of helping the dragon is, uh... It's a side effect, but, uh... At least the dragon didn't want to kill us. Does seem pretty powerful. Alright, we're here. Next floor. Are there any pieces of loot at all in this area? No, there are not. No, there are not. We could go into this first room. But I get the feeling we should wait. Ah, let's go in. What's the worst that could happen? An right. Etin. That's Whatever God really not worship. that bad. None of this is, in fact, really that bad. These are, after all, only Etins. I do feel a bit sorry for these Etins. What if the dragon's going to provide a lot of experience? I do get the feeling we might have to fight the green dragon eventually. There are a few items you can get that are really effective against dragons, but are also really not a good idea to have. Generally, walking up to a dragon with the same armor scale color as, uh, in armor as the one you're talking to is a bad idea. So if you're going to go talk to a red dragon, don't wear your red dragon scale um, plate mail. It's a bad plan. But there are the orbs of dragon kind. Look those up, because they are uh, powerful items, but at the same time, you really, really don't want to uh, let any dragon know that you have them. Because all of them pretty much hate the orbs of dragon kind. And that's an achievement. When you unite the uh, chromatic and um, metallic dragons in hating something, that's an achievement. So when we come back, folks, we'll continue to explore these caves and uh, deal with all the hill giants. So I'll catch you later, folks, and I'll see you next time. 
See you then. Later.